our gospel is the famous the parable of the ten virgins five wise five foolish allow me to present to you three points for reflection three e's number one eagerness the eagerness they were told of the feast they were told the prince will be wed and what a great fortune that they were invited na imbitahan sila sa royal wedding yung lima considered wise they were so eager eager and excited so eager that they truly planned everything chose a dress i do believe read about customs and protocols how it is to attend a royal wedding rehearsed and prepared everything that they will be needing that is an expression of their eagerness but as for the other five considered foolish i believe they were not that much eager to attend but that they are obliged by the family i believe the family members were more eager because she will represent the family it will bring honor to the family and therefore she has no choice you have to attend that's why she did not prepare the dress she will wear whatever ko anong dadalhin mo whatever and so i believe the family prepared for her the family prepared the dress whatever she will be needing the lamp it was all prepared for her but in terms of eagerness a big question mark you know this feast is to make an analogy where we are right now this is the wedding feast this is the feast and like the ten virgins we can also be like the two when there is eagerness in us when we like we anticipate this day because this day is the day of the lord and i will go and give my thanks to god and i will go and worship god and therefore you already put in mind magsisimba ako araw ito ng panginoon and here you are prepared but i know some of you were like the foolish virgins pinilit magsimba magbiis ka alam po isusot ko ito ito ang susot mo magbiis ka sisimba tayo pag di ka sumumba pupunta ka sa impyerno takot mo lang mapunta sa impyerno kaya ka naandi dito takot mo lang sa nanay mo takot mo lang sa tatay mo kaya no choice i have to be here we are here are we the foolish ones or are we the wise ones so eager to celebrate and when we are to prepare the five symbolizing our five senses are we really eager to participate five senses meaning focus consciousness meaning making use of everything or are we distracted while i am here my mind is away while i am here listening kanina pa bip ng bip yung cellphone ang dami ng notification gustong gusto ko nang tingnan ang facebook at messenger ko are we giving our full senses in this celebration are we conscious are we happy that we are here and giving this one hour to my god and i hope we are eager and we are wise the second e would be extra extra an extra flask of oil so the wise brought an extra flask of oil because they know they will be needing it that extra but that extra is also an extra act of love why sapagkat siya mismo ang pumili ng mga ulivo at yung ulivong pinili niyang magaganda siya mismo ang gumawa ng langis siya mismo ang naglagay siya mismo ang naghanda wow it is tedious to make an olive oil but that act of sacrifice is something because 
I want to offer this to the king. It is my act of love. Extra flask of oil. But that extra flask of oil is also symbolic. I don't want my lamp to run dry with oil because I want it lighted all throughout. My love will not run dry. My love will not be consumed. And so, I will bring extra flasks of oil. Pag-ibig na hindi mauubusan. Iyan, napakaganda. Extra. It's not enough to be good. You have to be extra good. It's not enough to be generous. You have to be extra generous. It's not enough just to persevere. You have to do it with an extra perseverance. I recall this past long weekend family vacation. I also enjoyed mine. I went home and we went to the province. Pero my dad is already forgetful. Makami dimension na nga, ipaulit-ulit, paulit-ulit. Sabi, anong dala mo sa sakyan? Magkanong bili mo dyan? Ilang kilometro na tinatakbo niyan? Ilang taon na yan? Nasagot ko na. After 10 minutes, yun na naman. Anong dala mo sa sakyan? Ilang kilometro na yan? Magkanong bili mo dyan? Okay? After 10 minutes, ayun na naman. No? Tapos maya maya nung ikalima na, tumahimik na ako. Pero, nung tumahimik na ako, may tagasalo. Yung mami ko na ang sumasagot. Yung mami ko na, matagal na yan, kay pader yan, ganito yan, ganito yan. Maya maya, si mami na ang patuloy na sumasagot. Siya na yung sumasagot, sumasagot. Paulit-ulit na tanong, paulit-ulit na sagot. That's an extra love. An extra love. When you know that your husband is undergoing something at hindi ka napapagod at sabihin, kulit-kulit mo, paulit-ulit ka. Hindi. Paulit-ulit sinasagot. Kasi paulit-ulit nakakalimutan. Paulit-ulit may nagtatanong. Paulit-ulit may magbibigay ng pagmamahal. That is an extra love. Nag-long weekend kayo. Anong sinabi nyo sa nanay nyo? Nay, ang takaw-takaw mo naman. Ang dami mong dalang baon. Hello? Di para sa akin to. Para sa inyo. Kasi alam ko, magutugutom kayo. Mauuhaw kayo. Bringing extra, not for oneself, but that extra is for those whom I love beautiful and yes we ought to have that extra with our friends when like pinagpayuhan mo na hindi ka pa rin sinunod nagkamali na nga pero nandiyan ka pa rin hindi mo binibitawan ikaw pa rin yung tumutulong umahon sa kanyang pagkakamali extra effort extra patience extra understanding that what it means when you are bringing an extra flask of oil. An invitation not just to be minimalistic but to be full in terms of our loving that our love will never be exhausted. That our love will never run dry. An extra flask of oil. And lastly, the E, encounter Finally, the bridegroom came and the five wise women was able to enter whereas the other five foolish, they were one, they want to get an extra oil pero sinabi ng mga wise, bumili kayo. Walang matitira pag pinagatian pa natin ito. It will not last. Bumili kayo. Bumili. Pagbalik sarado na yung pinto. Kumakatok, sumisigaw, patuloyin niyo po kami, kasama rin kami. At ang sinabi ng prinsipe, I do not know you. I do not know you. What is that? I do not know you. But we brought the lamp. Tingnan niyo, meron di kaming dala katulad ng mga nakapasok. Nagliliyab din ang aming lampara. I do not know you. 
the master was saying, I do not know that lamb. Why? Because binili nyo lang yan. Binili nyo lang yan. Kilala niya ang ningas ng lampara na kung saan ang halimuyak ay alimuyak ng pagmamahal at ang liwanag ay nagmumula sa sakripisyo at laan ng pag-ibig ng naghahandog. Kilala niya kung ito'y galing sa puso. Kilala niya kung galing niya ng sa wallet mo. Kilala niya kung pinaghirapan mo. Kilala niya kung binili mo lang yan. Kilala niya ang totoo sa peke. Kilala. That lamb is symbolic of charity. And God knows when charity is genuine or when it is done. For what? To make a name for my ego, for myself, so that I will appear good, so that I will gain something in turn. He knows when charity is true or not. He knows amoy na amoy ng Diyos kung ang halimuyak ng iyong lampara ay galing sa iyong puso. Pero kung ang halimuyak ay hindi galing sa iyong kalooban at puso, nakakaduwal ang amoy na iyong ibinibigay. And so we be genuine when we are with our Lord. We give Him the best. We give Him our heart. Amen.